Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. We have Sophia with us. We are so excited. Today we have an angel, an icon, a girl who's not afraid to say what's on her mind. Mm -mm. Miss Sophia with an F. Thank you so much for having me. If anyone was wondering, even though everyone knows because you film your house all the time, you guys are rich. Oh, I don't live here. <laughs> and they already know that's not true over if, here. If we lived together, one of us would be dead. So the money wouldn't matter at all. Um, no, thank you. That's really nice. I appreciate no, that. No, no. I'm like, sorry, look at the view. Like, the view yes, is yes, life-changing. Yes. You're going to say yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, I thank you. I do appreciate it, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy that you're here. And I feel like you and I have, like, have you guys ever met either? No. No. Have we ever met like in passing at all i don't think so it's no. weird because i feel like i know you completely agree and everyone gets on me about this i'll meet <laughs> someone one time and i'm like they're my best friend forever <laughs> literally i'd die for them tana you just met them not like that but i just have seen so much content of you we had our infamous you know what was it like six years ago whenever tana did not go on call her daddy and you almost Steve. killed me Mm-hmm. You, I think you tweeted when you went on there mm. and you tweeted, Sophia with an F is shaking right now or something. You should not give a girl Xanax and a Twitter platform. Wait, when, when, that, when was this? <laughs> Wait, was this? Like when I went on Call Her Daddy, I tweeted Sophia with an F is shaking. Yeah. Okay, oh, kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, but it was never that I didn't want to go on yours. It was more so just, I was more so making a joke. Like, I'm now going on with one of the hosts. I still owe the other one. Right. Something. You which yes. is canceled in my house and way less good. But yes, I'm so sorry for not going on Call Her Daddy. I, the first time. <laughs> for not. Actually, I wasn't that upset. Because literally everyone was like on the bandwagon being like, Sophia the Nath, like, let's fucking go. Oh, oh. like, oh. <laughs> like, Tiana's like, wait, I had no idea. I didn't, I, that <laughs> she was definitely not my campaign. That was definitely not my intention at the time. Like, to, that's how you know she loves you. She did it to me once as well. I was never doing that in like a hater way. I just thought it was funny, but that's, that sucks. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Sorry. I love how you're like, that sucks. Like, let's talk about it. No, that's because so that's nice awful. of you to come on here now, though, after that and bring gifts yeah. and everything. Well, and I, I just don't want you to ever think that was like in a negative way because I'm never one to try to like fuel a fucking hate campaign, especially on like an, a girl I don't know. R- if I know you and okay. you did some shit, that's one thing. But <laughs> shit. Okay, truth be told, I completely forgot about that because that would have been, what, five years ago? Mm hmm. And then when I told my team, like, I was going to do this podcast, canceled, they were like, no, no, someone from my team was like, do you remember when Tana tweeted that thing about you? Like, literally, as we were driving up and I'm like, oh, yeah, I do remember. Zero hard feelings. It's well, I'm I'm really happy. (laughs) Definitely. And honestly, if you were mad at all, I would completely understand and hold that L. But also, I hope you know, at the time, I know it wasn't like a deep thing. It was just me having me having Twitter from 2019 to 2021 was such a fucking like it. It should have been like federally mandated. Like that girl doesn't need it. Like there was not a thought behind those eyes. And that instant access to just saying right. anything. I was so dramatic and insane. It was like it was like a Amanda Bynes, Britney Spears. Absolutely. Like you, someone yeah. should have put you under a conservative. Absolutely. I'm surprised I didn't have like a dermal piercing and like. <laughs> sorry, that was mean. Amanda oh, didn't do anything. She's doing better now. Is she? Uh, hopefully, I think she admitted herself. That's good. That's great. Yeah. Congratulations, mm-hmm. Amanda. I love this mental health podcast. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> really, it really is. And kind of you came out of it. Right? <laughs> Came out of my event of Britney. <laughs> well, she's, she's rebranding. She's um, doing her Sophia Richie Grange. Uh, I'm rebrand. trying. I'm, I'm trying successfully. to hit my Sophia era <laughs> so hard. Sophia. Tr- Do you I love that song? White Claw and Don't Wait, address what, it, what song are you guys You know how, like, what? Like Sophia's wedding, like when she's walking down the aisle, the guy's like, Sophia. Well, you know, the original I, song is like Georgia, but then no. they switched it to Sophia. No, but that will be the song I walked down the aisle to now that I think you just told me. She really Absolutely. did you a favor. It's a Saved you a lot of money. It's and, actually been. and her name is Sophia with an F, right? It is. I think it is spelled as Oh my F. God, hope she doesn't start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I Imagine hope so too. I'll be done. The difference I'll be in the fucking podcast. done. No, I feel like she not. would be fun. Like, I feel like she could hang. Do you think she'd come on canceled? Sophia Richie Grange. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would bet my limb that she wouldn't. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I bet she can hang. I bet she gets like fucked up on the low for sure. 
For sure. I hope. Do you know who always tells me that you and me would be best friends if we spent 24 hours together? Who? Mike Malak. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I fucking love Mike. And I'll see, like, your guys' YouTube. Mm. And I'm like, this is my bitch. This is for sure. 100%. And Mike's actually never been wrong. I'll say that. Like, he'll always tell me before I'm with someone, he'll be like, you're going to fucking hate this bitch or you'll, you're going to love her and she's going to be your best friend. And every time it's, it's very valid. Really? Yeah. So it's funny. But you guys have like a little, <laughs> like, what's the tea? A little what? Tana? Did you have a flame? I was going to say the, said a little, I was gonna say the word history, but his, at me. I, well, <laughs> history is just so deep, you know, history is like, you know. Right. So Mike and I have never hooked up. Really? No, not Yet. even made out. Oh wow! Yet I'm not okay. opposed. Okay. But what is Mike after? Like I, I really want to know. <laughs> Nothing. Good. You're like, bitch. You don't want to know. <laughs> Nothing good. I never. I honestly, I never have. No, I actually made out with him one time by accident. How? Was but I it? tripped and fell. Like I actually, I tripped and fell. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, like when you made out with him? But no, just into doing that. No, like no, it was no, just right. like an accident. But then once your lips touched each other, I don't know. You don't remember. I was at the box in New York City, which mm, is a very famous sex club. Um, and and sex is such an understatement for those that don't know the boxes. People like shit in a box on stage. People like shit on the stages and have sex on the stage and like piss all over each other. Like, but it's like a show. It's like Cirque du Soleil for people. It's with, so hot. It's with like weird <laughs> kinks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever. And I made out with like seven of my friends last night. Or th that night. And that night. just happened to be one of them. And I don't know. Would you tell me he's like good, like a good kisser or no? Sincerely have no idea But I, I feel like If I had to take in From him, like Just him as a person mm -hmm. You would hope He was good at fucking By now After Lana Rhodes Like uh, hello And just everyone else yeah, And just like The experience actually, in after general After all of LA yeah. Like <laughs> Me talking about Fucking all of LA you know, Like we, it's a concept I, I'm foreign to I just saw a thing Where it was like If a guy has a high Body count He's worse in bed Because nobody comes back Like it's like Ooh. if you the people Whoa. who are really good and better like guys who had girlfriends for a really long time because it's like you have sex over and over and over again with the same person yes. i agree with that like you never have good sex with somebody the first time ever no that is some albert einstein shit and yeah. also well, i stole it from someone else <laughs> <laughs> i think that's true for women too oh yeah because when you're in a Fuck. relationship you're trying <laughs> you're trying so much different shit right yeah mm -hmm. when you're having a one night stand you're like oh my god like i'm gonna like tell mm. him to hit it from the back and then i'm gonna like scream you know what yeah. i mean yeah and it's your ba like base model that is actually that so true you, you only get into time like, the first time you only get into learning the weird shit like when you're in like deep into something yeah that's why all the whores have bad sex yeah mm-hmm fuck you heard it here first. So there Mike you, uh, probably I is wonder. not doing so hot. Although I feel like if you have sex consistently with a porn star, that's like double. Like he's probably mm. really, yeah. really great. Like if you fuck a porn star date one for six months. Yeah, he's probably doing. But I think flips. Lana has said like, and I might just be completely making this up. So he's, no one quote me, but that's this whole podcast. Like, don't believe anything I wait, say. I think you she know? said she liked vanilla um, sex. Yeah, like she likes like. I do. Lovey vanilla sex mm. i dude i was i was editing one of our podcasts or like watching one of our podcast episodes the other day and you were talking about how you like vanilla sex and i had this whole existential crisis i was like should i like rework the inner workings of my mind and like learn to like vanilla sex well what do you think what do you think happened to you along the way <laughs> no 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 i'm not i don't even mean that to be like but what do you think like switched it like when did you start all of a sudden being like i want him to hit me <laughs> My fir my actual first long term relationship, the first time I was ever long term, like it just. And maybe it's just your thing. I'm not gonna kink shame you, but <laughs> <laughs> you're like, when did you start hating yourself, babe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure I'll get there. Like I feel like, like maybe I'm sure I'll start I think, hating myself. I like, think maybe it was just lack of like a father, like off rip. I I was just from thank the jump, you. you know. Do you we like have that in common? Vanilla, or are you like more of a like backflips type? I mean a backflip. I mean, <laughs> like backflip. <laughs> do you like like the, like the like the like? I must really be into vanilla because I don't think I've ever done a backflip. But what's like vanilla missionary? Yeah, like missionary. Like we act like we love each other. Ooh. But you can act like you love each other with a little spit and hit. <laughs> you can do it all. <laughs> I I do. <laughs> A little choke and poke. If you say, I love you, babe. Gluck. Sorry, T.W. Gluck. Sorry, T.W. You're like, I mean, if they say I love you in between like slapping you, choking you. Like, That's what I'm saying. Is that vanilla? No. I, 
Whoa, and, like, and maybe that says a lot about me because my happiest relationships are like I love you, but then like like toxic, dark too. So maybe it like comes to fruition mm-hmm. sexually as well. Yeah. Are you do are you like do you like toxic relationships? Uh, do I like them? Or like what are you? Or do you find yourself in them often? So I would say the past couple of relationships I was in were toxic. Yeah. Mm. Only because the one before that was so healthy and so great. So yeah. I, ha- I like I had to do a 180. I was like, I'm bored. This is stupid. Mm. Yeah. And then it forced me into a toxic relationship. Mm. I oh, do no. the opposite. <laughs> I like go so toxic that I like leave so scarred that I'm like, I need and- a God fearing man who wants to play backgammon. <laughs> and then he is bored and the cycle continues. <laughs> what are you at? What phase are you in right now? Actually, that's a trick question because what are you doing? tonight i'm actually in my super super i'm i <laughs> i don't know where i am like anything i was just about to spew she was gonna lie for no reason um i've been pretty healthy lately i really have only been talking to like one person i've been pretty good like mm-hmm. one person well the one person is my ex but then tonight i'm hanging out with my other ex but as friends wait what's who's the first ex we'll bleep it we'll bleep no we'll just we'll keep it all we'll keep it all right and tight we won't say any of it but Tonight, I'm hanging out with my toxic ex and friends as okay. a group. So does that mean you won't be hooking up with the ex? No. It's I, like a total friend thing. I, I want it to be that. I don't know yet because we haven't hung out, like whatever. But yes, like I told him on the phone yesterday, the equivalent of hooking up with you again in my eyes, in, in the, I don't mean to shame any uh, former heroin addicts by saying this, but I mean the equivalent of it in my life is like relapsing on on heroin. heroin. It's like hooking Mm, up with you again. I agree. Like we have to be friends. Because it is true. It's like, what are you going to do it just one more time? Like it never Never. works out that way. Never. But you hung out with your ex last night, (laughs) right? Tell us about it. Okay, so it wasn't last night. Well, she was like, it was this morning. Actually, (laughs) it was like the last few nights, honestly. We have been broken up for, I don't know, two, three months. And I was doing so fucking well. Like, I was killing it. It's perfect that you came here after that. (laughs) Like, it's a bad downward spiral. I literally, like, I think I'm going to stay in LA. Or maybe go to Utah, where my whole family lives, for a month. Yeah. Because if I'm physically back in New York around this person. Oh, so he's in New York. mm Mm-hmm. Okay. If I'm back physically around him mm. it's gonna be off to the races yeah it's always how it goes it's i just and is he toxic like it was a toxic relationship or it wasn't so it was toxic in the sense that he he didn't cheat because i've been in toxic right yeah like i've been with a dude that's like bit like babe you're fucking crazy and then i find out like he was fucking that girl like i've been in that. absolutely this was mm. more toxic like I'm gonna call you 50 times a day. Oh, like I would codependent? Love that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I would love that. Like, perfect. You're like, I don't hear the toxic. I don't hear like, anything the wrong with that at all. Maybe I'm the problem. But so you you're into that. If it's like well, 50 I, calls. I wanna know somebody's obsessed with me. Or right. I wanna hope that they're obsessed with me. Has it ever gotten like has it ever teetered the line where you're like, mm, maybe this isn't good for us? Um no. I, I don't you know think I've ever I think, had one. I don't think I've ever had one. I weirdly think, me. at least in my life, I cannot find a middle ground. I'm either with someone where we have one to two calls a day. We text very normally. Mm-hmm. We hang out a couple times a week. Like, we're dating. It's normal. It's so healthy. Or it's like 50,000 calls. I'm tracking your every move. I'm killing myself <laughs> because you're gone because I think you're doing something <laughs> sus. Like, it's, yeah. I, I am like one plane or the other. Like, I would love a middle ground. Like, I want to know you're obsessed with me. But it's like a healthy yeah, level but like of have communication. Normal, like we said this, I think on another episode. But like a normal relationship is like you start dating slowly. You talk to each other maybe once a, a day or whatever in the beginning, and you start like progressively getting more like into each other. But it's like I've only been in love bombing like extreme, like super fast situations, and I'm like that makes perfect sense to me. But but me too. Yeah. So then it's like, <laughs> no. why would he not call me fifty times a day? Like. He has the time, so why would he not? After getting love bombed so many <laughs> times, I eventually, like, now I do get the ick by it, though. Well, you know you know how it ends now. Yeah, so and, I, and in my head, I'm, I'm very it. much like, this is fake. 
Like, oh, look, you're in yeah, love like with me after hanging out two times. This means nothing to you. Like, you're, you know. But it's like, I feel that way, too. I'm like, I actually like him this much, so he must like me that much. Who wants better sex? And who wants to start having better sex immediately? The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, plus free shipping, which also includes rush processing. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a must. Free shipping and rush processing on your entire order doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy all will be packaged and sent discreetly for free and fast don't wait better sex is just a click away that's 50 percent off one item free shipping with rush processing bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item it could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire just enter offer code tana at checkout that's tana t-a-n-a at adamandeve.com this is an exclusive offer specific to canceled podcast, so be sure to use the code TANA to get your discount, 100% free shipping, and get it fast with rush processing. Code TANA. No. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Can I tell you something very, very quickly? Yes. I woke up today, and the- You're I, pregnant. Like, well, that would be the best I case. I that. Um, <laughs> no, I took DayQuil. Like, I didn't really feel good. Like, okay. and I don't think I'm sick. Like, again, not contagious. Everyone's fine. Seriously. I just you, went, neither of us have our voices right now. I've never had a voice. Oh, so I'm have. stoked for yours to come back. But mine will be like this. Okay. Um, but I took a DayQuil. And DayQuil often makes me, like, shit myself and throw up and whatever. And so I was hitting, like, the throw up shit, throw up, like, earlier today. Like, not okay. Still okay. not okay. And, like, probably most podcasts... I would she have asked to move. To take a bathroom. And I was like, if I come full circle <laughs> six years later and bail on Sophia right now, it would have been really that bitch is going to show up to my house with a gun. Okay, no, this <clears throat> is the thing. Oh, actually, that's really funny because you did bail like five years ago or whatever, right? On Call Her Daddy. Yes. Yeah. And then what? Last time I was in LA, but like you guys. Didn't no, last time that, we were just you? trying to make it happen, and we like yeah, we couldn't and come, then, come and then together didn't. on a date. By the way, I'm the queen of doing that shit. And I really, okay. really like well, want to stop doing that. Where was this energy six years ago? <laughs> where was this energy tonight? Because <laughs> I'm fucking clenching my asshole. <laughs> no, so if I get up and have to go like bubble over there, just know it's, I did this for you. You have a replacement. Yeah. All my voodoo doll is here. Tiny Tana. Oh my God, I love Brooke that. Brooke keeps getting a Reddit thread saying that she's like mean Everyone to me. Everyone says I'm too mean to Tana. So now I have this Tana. She if, is. I, if I feel like saying something mean, I can you just, just talk to this one. Oh, yeah. you talk to her. You're not like hurting well, it. Well, sometimes like, I like, pins sometimes in it. Sometimes I stop her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's so cute and she is what matching me. No, but I think that's so interesting what you just said about the love bombing because if a dude is not love bombing me to a certain degree, I'm like, fuck this dude. Me too, because I'm like, Bye. you can go a whole day without no, talking to me. Like, what is wrong one? with you? Because if that's the problem here right now, that's scary. Excuse me. Let me let me rephrase. <laughs> Love bombing. I thought it was perfect the way you said it. <laughs> <laughs> that made perfect no, sense to that. me. And to be fair, I have, I also have my my sentences that would right but know. i think love bombing has gotten thrown around so fucking much it's like and it's gaslighting like, yeah it's like that word we all just picked up on and ran with yeah. yes if a dude is only texting me once a day well that's yeah no bye yeah you're, i agree i okay, need so you to show maybe it isn't love bombing i like maybe i just like a guy who's into me Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, every like, every single manipulative, manipulative, controlling dude, they're like, yes, yes. They no. said it perfectly. God, I know. Fuck. So you hung out with your ex several times in a row. Mm -hmm. And how did that go? And by hang out, I mean slept, slept over. With. Oh. Mm. Maybe yes. that happened. Is the sex the sex is better though? That's one thing that I'll just put like better in this time around. When no, just better up. with these type of men, with the obsessive, with the with how the crazy. Do you, how do you know? <laughs> just is that a, a hunch, girl? <laughs> no, wait. Is is that like a characteristic? I've always said that. I think toxic narcissistic men fuck ten times better than a healthy man. Yeah, and and you, then there's you the ended occasional up back exception, there for but there's still something there where I'm like, you're when you're hitting me, your intent isn't as good as the men that are hitting me <laughs> were insane. And see, there was my sentence that see, yeah, was way worse than there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, because a toxic man spitting in your mouth, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. you mean this shit? You hate me? And then like a healthy man spitting in your mouth, and you're like, you love your mom. Right? Like, it, it's not what they up. do. It's not what they do. It's the intent. Like, Am I right? Yeah. Oh, that was fucking you know. horrible. <laughs> no, but yes. Dick game, incredible. 
Um, do I love everything else about him? No. But he's not like that toxic. I'm literally sitting Things here you have coming to tell up with yourself. excuses <laughs> no. to, to just Are you like this on your own podcast where when you kind of sit down, it's just very much stream of consciousness. Like I'll be saying something here and I'm like, he's not that toxic, but actually he is. I'm like, but then he's really good. But then like he hit me the other day. So and like, I, don't know, on like I just, I go on this stream of consciousness where it's like, and then I'm in the edit, like trying to make it make sense. Like cut one minute and 34 seconds. Cause I lied completely. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. I contradict myself every three minutes and 30 seconds yeah That's just boom boom because it's really it really because you're thinking it through okay but here's the thing so many people do love to listen to unfortunately what we all have to say and maybe they shouldn't and mm -hmm. again i've always said uh you've got to have no father to really love this podcast like i have a father we, we, i don't I, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm he's just ashamed like, of me. We we You're just like, we, 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 attract, both <laughs> we attract the feral girls, you know, who want to listen to what we have to say and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I just I want to know, like, can I ask you some hard hitting questions? Go. And then if you don't want them in, I'll cut them. But I just want to no, know. No, 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 go. So you, well, I just really want to know the whole life story because mm -hmm. I don't know. You're like, so you, so don't you have met. A dad. I, I'll skip <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> but you met Alex. How? Barstool put you guys together? No. So I had met a girl in an Uber pool when I first <laughs> <laughs> been there. Was it Lila Gibney? Yeah, I was like, can't <laughs> relate. Look at her view. Um, been there though. <laughs> when I first moved to New York, I had no money. Um, I was taking an Uber pool. I met this girl. And then I was looking for a new apartment and I needed roommates, right? Because I was living in a studio and it was alarming. Like mattress on the floor, like terrifying. I was like, okay, I want like a like a kitchen, like maybe like a washer and dryer. Maybe Better I should area. live with people yeah. yeah, so I can afford it. So I told the girl I'd met in the Uber pool that I was looking for an apartment and she was like, no fucking way. I know a girl looking for an apartment. She put us in contact with each other, mm. Alex and I. Mm. And the day that we met, we were looking for an apartment together and we signed a lease. The that day. day. Oh. The day we oh. met. Oh. 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 That's the I've done a lot you of shit. Reckless. <laughs> I've done that, a lot of shit. That is to meet someone and sign. It is crazy because there are so many people who I've known. Most people, actually, almost all people that I've known for like five years or more, I would not sign a lease with right now. So like okay, to know somebody when, for a well, few hours. Well, sometimes you're in a rock and a hard but, place. Yeah, you're desperate, and it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, and you want better, and you're willing to take the risk. And sometimes things like that end amazing. I feel sometimes like you, you find a life with roommates you don't know too. But then it's like if you start becoming really close friends, oh, that right. gets a little messy. Which I mean, I don't regret meeting her at all. Like yeah. I feel like it, like yeah, it's a part of your journey. Yes, one hundred percent. And so you guys signed a lease that day. Yes. Okay. But that is fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm like thinking back. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Okay, let's sign on the dotted line to yeah. your lease. What's let's your credit go. score? Yeah. <laughs> a two got any year eviction? lease too. Yeah. A two year two year lease too. Like yeah. that is that's I didn't wild. even know they had those. But again, high risk, high <laughs> reward in certain ways. They're like a high reward came out of that in a very different way. Yeah. Universally. That's so true. Yes. Um, so you sign this lease, then what happens? Then so the lease is with her and her childhood best friend. Okay. So the three of us lived together. Mm -hmm. I had never met the childhood best friend. I'm like, you know what? I'm just, ha I'm just having to tag along. Just like, I'll just have a room. <laughs> hey, bestie. Yeah. <laughs> and Alex and I just hit it off. Mm -hmm. And it was like, from that moment on, we spend every day together. We do everything mm -hmm. together. And the, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. Well, so hold on. Good. No, <laughs> the rest. No, You're no. Like, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa. So, were you guys just having conversations and you were like, God, this should be a podcast? Or was it kind of like, like Barstool was looking for that and you applied? Like, what put you both in the position to ever start Call Her Daddy? So she was always very into media mm -hmm. and entertainment. I think college she majored in. Actually, I was about to like make some shit up. Film, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I was working at Morgan Stanley in finance. <laughs> that was Slay. not on my radar. However, so, I Sophia's will, gonna do my taxes this year. <laughs> I will you will get in trouble for tax evasion because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing at all. I'd be like, she's good. Wouldn't she be the like, first time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So uh 
I that was not on my radar at all mm. but we just we had a, a, so much fucking chemistry and I've always been extremely outspoken like I grew up mm. in Utah which is very conservative and yeah. a lot of Mormons live there yeah and so to <laughs> kind of come out of that being someone who like is isn't afraid to say what they say yes and stuff like that and yeah. I, I've been like that since middle school like oh my yeah. god like there was a middle school dance I was like oh my god it's like we're having sex or clothes on like I just remember I always would say crazy <laughs> ass shit and <laughs> same we think, relate in that yes, regard yes so I was I was a little bit crazy I would talk about like oh my god DPs like all just <laughs> wild shit yeah it's a DP Oh, penetration. Oh, oh anyway, oh, I'm like director, a producer, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> a day after Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, double penetration. And then we went to uh, South by Southwest, mm. and I remember we were at a bar. I remember this very vividly, and we were just like going back and forth, and I was saying gnarly shit and whatever. Yeah. And all of these dudes at the bar were like, "Oh my god, this is fucking crazy!" And they were taking videos. Mm. And she was like, oh, my God, let's start a YouTube. So we did a few YouTube videos. I would die. I would literally jump off, off that balcony if, if they I replayed. saw them. No. Oh, my God. Entire I would, first I would do two and a half <laughs> years of my YouTube channel actually will haunt me till the day I die. I have nightmares all the time. <laughs> do it's you take dream. them? Like, have you taken them down? But they no, live forever. They live it's, forever. They, they, the yeah. Thing. No, I'm going to be 80 and someone's going to come up to me and say, he <laughs> fucked me with a toothbrush. That's my favorite part of my day. Uh, i scrolling through my TikTok and seeing like an old Tana bleach and tone on her bathroom <laughs> floor. It's my favorite. It's it'll never you know it's, yeah it's, but I wouldn't change it because I credit it all to you yeah, know a you part of my journey and 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 it resonates with so many people you know I might cringe watching fucking hairdresser from hell bleach and tone but like that was a big part of my life that was my first video it was one of them it's the first one that's alive that, still and it's that iconic wow good job really nice Thanks. okay I've watched <laughs> so much content what the what is it the hair wait no hold on we will get to me <laughs> and my like, fucking awful journey story 15 million times yeah, the canceled listeners don't want to hear this I want this tea okay so you post a YouTube video with Alex Cooper a couple yes and then we had this dude approach us to start a podcast mm. and Alex was like I don't even know what a podcast is which me working at Morgan Stanley and wanting to die every single day all I would do is listen to podcasts all day mm. long and I'm like oh girly I know all about this let's fucking go mm. so then we start the podcast with this company mm. um that was like it was a podcast network it was run by just like a bunch of trust fund kids that mm. had no idea what the fuck they were doing in New York <laughs> they had no clue and that is the worst like yeah yes but yeah. I mean love them like they you know yeah it's like part of the journey yes and I think we were three episodes in and we were posting it on social media Barstool reaches out mm. and that's how it happened Amazing. and so was it Dave Portnoy personally that saw you guys yes. and so Barstool reached out yes but then later I found out it was Erica Nardini mm. who had told Dave these girls need to like they need to be the next yes. female hire and so then sorry and again if you want to end this conversation no, no, no. at any point literally tell me to fuck off shut up kill myself whatever you need <laughs> um but so then you guys start filming call her daddy mm -hmm. and you immediately sign a contract with Barstool yes it was pretty yeah. immediate. Yeah. Pretty and then how long did that go for? How long did you guys podcast together for? Ooh, I would say two years or a little oh, over wow. two years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At and then, Barstool. And then basically the gist of the end of the feud was like, Barstool wanted to renew for like a price that like you felt like you were valued at more. Yes. And so she stayed, you walked. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a very, like, summed Water up yeah, down very. version. There was so much very. that went into it. But basically, you know, we were getting paid a certain amount. Mm. And I we knew that it was worth so much more. Mm. And we were having, like, a business disagreement. Mm. And I thought, because we were such good friends, like, whatever, this will pass over and, like, mm. we'll come back together. I think she had like different ideas and yeah. Was the business fallout the reason for your friendship fallout as well? Uh, uh, that's a really good question. 
I would say it was a little bit of a ticking time bomb. I think that's what broke the camel's back. Mm. Um, but I think, you know, where she wanted to go and where I wanted to go. Or I different think places. Ev- yeah. Eventually it would have, it would have like blown up. Well, and I think you can, I mean, just generally speaking, you guys met the day you signed a lease Mm -hmm. you can definitely rush into things with people and then realize you're different people and you both go on your own journeys and that's okay yes you know yeah but I mean we had formed such a strong bond and like such a strong friendship I mean the Mm -hmm. podcast was two years but I think we were with each other for three almost four yeah which is a long time to spend with someone yeah every day Right. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I've talked about this before, I think when it comes to girlfriends, um, I just like, I'm like, you're my sister. I trust you, you know, no matter what. I ride for you. When it comes to dudes, I'm like, you are a snake. I will never trust you. Hate men. I've always said that. No no matter what you Mm -hmm. do, like, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the whole breakup was like, it was hard for me. I think friendship breakups can often be 10 times harder than they like are harder. Breakups. I get like those are the worst heartbreaks I've ever had are like friendship breakups. I feel remember <laughs> ours. We've come so far. <laughs> we have. We had a pretty bad one, too. We yeah. Did. One of the worst. It's of my hard. Life, yeah. yeah. But I'm happy. We're now. good now. I'm like, we're great now. <laughs> Her voodoo doll. She's if like, you. She's like, <laughs> if you could go back in time and change the fate of the way that the OG call her daddy ended, would you? No. I think this sounds, mm, I'm sure everyone knows what I'm about to say. So cliche. Everything happens for a reason. I don't think that's cliche. It was going to blow up eventually. Mm. I'm almost happy it it happened earlier Mm. than farther down the road. Absolutely. And it it gave me the opportunity Sorry, to I keep burping. I'm not like not listening. Continue. Do, is it the Dayquil? It, it, it might be a Dayquil X White Claws a crazy combo as well. Like my stomach is like, why? I love how you're like the Dayquil is crazy. I'm like, eh? I don't know if Dayquil. Is crazy. <laughs> I don't I think it's way crazy. To that shit. Shit. Quick subject change. Okay. The other day, Paige randomly asked me, "What is the one food you can consistently like? If you eat it, you know you're going to like bubble." Like, you know you're going to shit yourself. You know you're going to be nauseous. What is the one meal? Mine's not a meal, but I'm not kidding. The first time I tried Bloom Nutrition, I'm this is not sponsored. <laughs> no one <laughs> thought it was. No one thought it was. Like, You're like, this is obvious. <laughs> She's like, it's the obvious one. We're like, but it's going to look... It's gonna look really bad because I actually am going to deal with them literally right now. And it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. to deal with I, them right now. <laughs> It's because you mixed it wrong. No, it no, wasn't. No. Yeah. I like it trying. does what it's supposed to do. It's good for digestion. Okay. Damn, I need to try it. Understatement of the year. When I tell you guys, I was literally hands on the wall. Hands on the walls when you have to get fully butt naked, like you're sweating. I was like, I thought about calling nine one one. Nine one one. That I've been so severely constipated for the last. Bloom nutrition. Months. You heard it here. I take Miralax everywhere I go. I could be going on a two day trip, and I'm like, put that bitch in my carry on. Wait, Miralax is that to make you go poo? It's yeah, like I haven't been. I, I haven't been pooping normal. Babe, that's why. Late. Okay, but that's why you need to take <laughs> yeah, a shit because you're quill. taking a laxative. No, 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 no. But the laxative only ever came into question because it was like, oh, it's been eight days and I haven't shit. Okay. Like. It's getting bad. There was, it's bad. Dude, I take it everywhere. In my sorority house, we used to literally all just like hand them out, take them all at the same time, and then we just blow up that whole bathroom. Oh, that's <laughs> a really bad disorder. Like the day, the day before a pool Don't party, do that. That, I do not encourage that at all, but like we did. My grandma and my mom are like addicted to taking laxatives. It's I'm like, very common. You, it's you so guys bad understand for you. Can I that just, doesn't make mm, you skinnier. That's it not. Does. It's like a diuretic though. I think it makes you like like temporarily like suck oh, yeah, up. For like well, yeah, like, yeah, like a lot of girls like do it in LA so they look skinnier. I'd never taken one in my entire life until the past like two months because I literally just couldn't shit. Yeah, because she was you know what I mean? up. And to be honest with you, I remember the I, the first time I took it was in Cabo <laughs> in February. It was the first time I'd ever taken Miralax in my entire That's life. It's not the first that should I never promise. be. I know, no, but I'm saying like you should not try it for the first time in Cabo. <laughs> but it was like I'm <laughs> on the beach in a bikini and I look fucking seven months pregnant because I haven't fucking shit in 15 days. That's fair. Everything hurts. Should have just I taken took it. a s- sip of the 
sink water. And I remember <laughs> I almost did that this trip. And I remember that I was like, damn, this doesn't hit as hard as like everyone like makes it out to be. You're like, I'm going to take a day quill because that like, shit is crazy. Well, yeah, right. Day right quill through, yeah. Day quill weirdly makes me bubble and Panera bread, broccoli and cheddar soup is a guarantee. Like the other oh, day I ate it like just to like really get shit shaken, you know? Okay. What's yours? What's your guaranteed well, bubble okay, food? Oh, that makes me have to go? Guaranteed. Yeah. Indian food, one of my favorite types of food ever. Me too. Next day, usually have to go. It's a good bubble. Yeah. That's, see, I'm not thinking next day. I'm thinking bubble. like within what the, is, within the you're, you're just seating. bubbling. <laughs> like it's a good shit. I don't I'm sorry. <laughs> I am saying that like it's like a common term. (laughs) It's like not a common term at all. It's a Lila coin. Well, the thing is, here's the thing. Up until right now, I'm 24 years old. The past 23 years of my life, I wake up every day. Um, And as of the last like five years, my routine is like I wake up, I open my eyes. It's 4 (laughs) p.m. Sun is down. That was a joke. Um, I hit my vape. I check my phone. I go to the bathroom and I take a shit. Mm hmm. And I think that's good. Yes, morning you're start- routine. Yes, you're starting. <laughs> right. Did you say this morning is- routine? Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. This is like- why I'll never be Alex Earl. Sure. <laughs> like, no, she's this like, bitch you- is getting online like this moisturizer is the top of my morning. I'm like, this shit is the top of my morning. And as of recently, it hasn't been a part of my day. Like, it's like I'm not shitting as regularly as I should. Mm. And like, really. You need like active, yeah. Or like. But I don't think I wake up and take a shit. Like, that's oh, not, I like, do. like my first. Thing. I would. I, it was I take one thing. sip of a Celsius and it's go time. And you just go yeah. and then you start your day yeah oh, i yeah. can't like do it, anything if i haven't really it's so important. that's how i completely feel and then as of the last like six months it's like that's not my journey anymore and it's throwing me off <laughs> heavily <laughs> that's so so you guys have like your poops timed out oh yeah well my they were for like, so long but now i'm lost <laughs> i'm so lost and I, not even Miralax. I've also been taking Colace. It's a stool softener. Like I've been oh, you know you my. can you can you can do damage. Like you can make it so that they don't affect you anymore. I, I'm not there yet. It's still a new. Well, you journey. just told me you take it like all the time. Well, you're taking Miralax and I've only taken one. Miralax. I've only taken Miralax like six <laughs> times across this journey. And Panera broccoli and cheddar. <laughs> Girl, you're putting like four things in your body a day. But it's so funny too because it's like. Most people like normal things make them bubble like Taco Bell, you know? No, not me. I but feel like if if you're adapted, like I've gr- I grew up eating so horribly that like mm-hmm. if I eat like a full burrito bowl from Chipotle, like I'm fine. I always say this. If you grow up poor eating boof ass shit, like it doesn't affect you. Yeah, like people that. who are like, oh, Taco Bell makes me sick. I'm like, loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you. you grow up with Entitled. money? Entitled. Like, how'd you grow up? How'd you grow Rich up? Rich as fuck. Did you grow up with money? Mmm middle class okay. and then had nothing for a second recession moment mm-hmm. yeah. yes pretty common yes. theme mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but taco bell i grew up eating whatever the fuck i wanted right me Lesson, too yeah. i did not have like parents i no i would that's, me, my, that's my whole sentence i did <laughs> not have parents <laughs> that's no, my whole like, that makes me feel so sad for people when people's parents like won't let them eat like junk food no, or but like, the, I swear to God, those people like get obsessed with junk food. No, yeah, and like then they they have so many more problems because it's like yes. all of a sudden, as soon as they do have the freedom to eat what they want, they mm-hmm. like go crazy, and then they have all these health issues. Where I am just running perfectly fine, like a well oiled machine on Cheetos <laughs> and literally <laughs> chocolate. Thank you, a hundred percent. There's science no, behind that. Weirdly, like kale would hurt my stomach more. No, one hundred percent. If I had a double. salad right now, that's an instant bubble. Food. If we went vegan, we would be blowing up the bathroom. Absolutely. Paige was on a tangent today about how she thinks people in our life are like, like mentally, like just bitchier and not as socially aware because they're vegan. And I was like, Paige, I, don't know I, I think that's absolutely true. I'd be pissed if I was vegan all the time. Yeah. My ex no of like five years was vegan. Also, my cousin that's staring oh. at me right now is vegan. <laughs> like, are like you, all, wait, all of a sudden she sat up. Wait, wait, which one? Are you a French fry vegan or are you like a real vegan? You eat like good I'm stuff. A vegan. Like so, you eat like soup. Okay, see that's. Are fine. you unhappy? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's happy. That no, that's blink, fire. Blink twice. For me, for me, it's the bitches who it's the bitches who walk this earth like they are presidential, better than everyone, and they're like, I'm vegan, and then all they eat is French fries. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. yeah, see that's my the issue. French I don't fry eat vegan vegetables. send me for that to be workout. Yeah, but isn't an issue or is it? good it's not an issue but it's like if i were a vegan i would have nothing to eat but oreos 
I totally oh understand that. I feel that. Same. I always tell people, I was like, I was vegan for like five months. All I ate was french fries lie. and Oreos. <laughs> at all. And then I was on Twitter too. Like, if you eat cheese, you're so wrong. Like, the second I was, I was like done, I was like that too. We like, all watched like a again, documentary. If a shouldn't have had a Twitter. Was it? That what? documentary where you see what happens like to make McDonald's chicken nuggets and then we all went vegan. I watched like not that one, experience. not the weird one, but Super Size Me Shape My Life. Oh, that was a good one. Did it? But see, I could eat a Big Mac a day and I feel like I would be okay. Oh my God. I think I used to and now I can't. <clears throat> oh man. Mm. I think it's because you guys are young. I swear to I'm God, that's old. why. How old are you? I'm about to turn 31. Really? What? Yes. Well, you make it sound like you're like old. What's the routine? Nothing. Are you one of those? No. Dude, well, I was yeah. just in Cabo with this girl. <laughs> and um, Are you one of those? I was just in Cabo <laughs> with this girl. And she's like in her 30s. And she looks super amazing. You know, we're like with her the whole time. And I'm like, first of all, I don't know if you know this, but one of the biggest scandals in my career was that's a lie but a big scandal of my career <laughs> was people saying that i'm secretly 30 like that i'm lying about my she age is. i had to post my id it was like on daily mail everywhere it was like tana mojo's secretly 30 <laughs> and honestly the friend. the most hurtful thing about that is the fact that, like it was very believable to hundreds of thousands of people like <laughs> like you're, i'm i'm not like I, I just turned 24 that's fucking annoying whatever i realized that my maybe my aging process isn't gonna work honestly my parents Genetics aren't looking good, you know? Uh-huh. And I was asking this girl, I was like, you're 31, you literally look younger than me. Like, why? And she was like, I just, I sleep in my makeup. I think that the, I think that mm, the people killer. that, I think the people that do use their face washes and use all this, it's propaganda. And it's like, like the, all those products are what's making everyone look older and like blah blah blah. I literally I eat so bad and I was like, so she no. has good genes and that's yeah, what like your yeah. genetics yeah. are good. Why don't you just say it's like that. skinny people who are like, I just put lemon in my water. It's, it's like, <laughs> no, it, that's not why you have a six pack I, at all. Exactly, that's not why you look like you fucking drink baby's blood. It's because your fucking parents. I had a skinny mm -hmm. friend in high school who all the time she'd be like, well then don't eat that. And it's like she literally was built like an avatar, like so tiny, so skinny. And I'm like, you. D did not genetically earn that. are set up different yeah so shut the fuck up oh my god absolutely i could kill her right oh now my god. <laughs> wow imagine if we just answered something and we were like it's just great genes yeah, yeah. that's what normal people should that say that's be... why i don't believe in sharing like your what you eat in a day or anything because it's like it literally doesn't fucking matter that's so i love that you true. don't believe in that is this do we stand on this <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we do not believe in what I, I eat don't. Well, because people always like post those, and it's like, what good is that? Same. I I don't believe. I just don't believe in it. I, I stand know. beside it. I think I need to do a YouTube video like that, like what I eat in a, what I eat in a day. We should do a realistic like what we eat in a day, and it's like everything we post, mate, and it's like. Wait, I want to know. Can I go on a like a very quick tangent? Yeah. Hello. And it means so much to me. Yeah. It means so much to me. You have the floor. So I was just in Mexico for like eight days. And the food there is amazing. Like we're ordering mm -hmm. like good food and like whatever. But I'm really bad at leaving America because I really love like fast food and like shitty food. <laughs> like I've always been that type of person. So when I go somewhere else and like you can't post me, it's like a, a common, a common girl. You know what I yeah. mean? And my death row meal. I'm talking like <laughs> I am dead. Like I'm dying lethal injection in right. five. You've I am in ordering for like 80 years. A Jersey Mike's Club sub giant edition first what of all a waste of a death million. row meal. it's eight dollars to upgrade it to giant and i kid you know i was talking about this yesterday it is it weighs more than a newborn baby like you throw it on the counter and it's like donk <laughs> like it's like it's huge <laughs> and you get lace chips and you put it in the jersey max club sub i am so convinced that it can fix everything in my life really someone i love could Maybe die that's what you should have and the first thing the i would one. do is order a jersey max club sub Oh, you got cheated on? Club sub. Oh my God. I'm sick. Of, I could have cancer and I'd be like, just get me I don't a know club if I have sub. anything that like that does that for me. It, I would go Subway before Jersey Mike's. See, have I you really ever like, had a Jersey Mike's no. club sub? I really I like have. Subway too and everybody clowns Subway. No, Subway is fucking They made it like phenomenal. embarrassing to like Subway. Sub, wait, wait, Subway's uh, phenomenal. Wait. No, never mind. That's just... Well, too go, bad Jared go, was a pedophile. Was gonna say, is that the joke? No. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Arby's? <laughs> Jared. Excuse he came me. to my school. When I, when I say I love Subway, I'm not condoning Jared's anything that Jared's Jared's ever anything done. Jared, fuck Jared. But yesterday, I had an entire Jersey Mike's Club sub down my body. I swear to God, sub start to finish like this in my bed, laying completely, completely just horizontal. That's, I'm that's you with another. the club sub. 
I'm serious. If I ever died, like, just know that's what I'd want everyone to eat in honor of me. Like, pour one out for the homies. What would be your death row meal? You guys are going to be like, oh, my God, that's the bitch that, like, talks about having good genes. It'd be sushi. That's like... (laughs) <laughs> no, I did. I, did. I wanted to roll my eyes just to, be, no, just to guys, add some spunk. You guys were dead silent. <laughs> I actually love sushi, but no, I, w- I was dead meal. silent because Ari's off camera stomping on my couch. <laughs> I'm cool. sorry. Mine would Ari, be creamed corn. Not that anybody asked me. Would, <laughs> what is? <laughs> You're just flipping the narrative of you being into me. You're like, no one asked me. <laughs> what is your death row? Wait, 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 wait. I was gonna say. I that. knew you were going to because I told you to remember it if there was ever a trivia wait, question what is about it? me. Creamed corn. Her creamed entire corn. death row meal would be a bucket of cream it's corn. That's so actually, good. I totally am on board with that. Oh my god, it's, it's my favorite. A hundred percent. I think ever. Can you oh have creamed corn? Okay. Corn, <laughs> corn is weirdly like up there on my shit. Mm-hmm. Anything corn. and my corn. shit because you can't digest corn. But <sighs> like elote corn chowder Ooh. i just had a really bad corn chowder the other day and i was so mad at the restaurant it was the ivy in beverly hills seriously get it together like it was bad corn chowder i was like where's the chowder if corn chowder is bad that's that will make you go immediately nothing was but going a good corn chowder also in england so my dad's from new zealand Ooh, really and this is what they do you're gonna love this toast a piece of bread put butter and put cream corn <gasps> on the bread have you done that no but that would make me literally horny i think you're gonna die like your life your life will never be the same oh my god it's so we good have, i think we should try it for our next cooking show absolutely anytime i was talking about this the other day <laughs> i was talking about this um the other day um ari ari you're right here so i'm gonna i'm slandering you a little bit okay but it's out of love he's a nepo baby <laughs> and <laughs> this is like our third episode in him. a row saying it too. but i was saying that you get in trouble when I oh, say no. your nepo, baby. Yeah. From the nepo, they cut his allowance. <laughs> okay, so okay, not be watching. This. Okay, point you can cash at me after this. I, it's then, one of my weirdly biggest fears to have a nepo, baby. You're gonna have one again. I love you so so much. No, but I was saying that something that shaped me so much as a person growing up was learning how to survive off of ramen. Like make it a hundred different ways. Because it was like, that was the only thing you could afford. So you'd figure out like, how can I spunkify this up and it tastes like a different meal for the 38th time this month. Mine was Mm -hmm. Easy Mac. One time I got a a Costco thing of Easy Mac for my birthday. <laughs> for my birthday. When you had a birthday, I was like, whoa. Am I, I, I was me. not, I, that I wasn't <laughs> expecting. <laughs> yeah, it, it's touchy subject did over they, here. Did they put like a bow like uh-huh. around it? Yeah, and that was my meals for the year, seriously, until the next one. Honestly, kind of sweet. Kind yeah. of a good And then gift. one time I almost set the place on fire, putting it in the microwave with no water. What were mm. you trying to do? Make it like extra crunchy? Well, I was. <laughs> I wasn't it burst into flames so well, it happens to a lot of people it happened to me again in college the reason I say all this because she was saying butter with bread butter bread was such a big part of like my like butter no bread money. or butter on toast yeah like either one no but also just butter bread you put the butter on the bread and you like I've well, never heard if that you've ever had no do it, but like, one, like wonder bread and butter it's so good well like, especially without it, toasting it well, if there's no electricity, girl, what are you going to do with the lighter? <laughs> okay, so I sound <laughs> no, 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 no. If, as fuck uh, right now. No, if like, there was a toaster, we were toasting. But sometimes, no, Loki would like learn to crave that or like mayonnaise on bread, mayonnaise, bologna and bread. Insane. Ooh, but I learning how to make mayonnaise. ramen one. 30 so ways, good. I feel like it like it's it's a humbling experience. And I was saying one day when I have a kid, no matter what, I'm going to make them go home. On. Yeah, you should make them with do like only little ramen um, and a couple ingredients and say fit foe. Figure it the fuck out. Like, just wow. so that, like, build character. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. right? You Last should- night I was craving that so bad. I Postmated 7 Eleven, 7 Eleven Postmates, cup of noodles, craft singles, egg, and butter, and just put it all in there. Ate it last night. Oh, A craft single in the, in the, noodle yes yes oh my god you that one them, i've never done like with the ramen you put the craft single over the ramen really and then you crack the egg, egg in the ramen and then you just stir it all up and it's bubble gut surprise again <laughs> but it's oh my god, it's really wow good. the fact that you can't shit is like alarming to me yeah like that should be like, a- like all the stuff you're talking about i'm like there's no way you I don't d- have like a regular shitting schedule i definitely she, do I think like that came out of me today though because i was like feet up on the toilet seeing god 
today she will so. like have these like horrible nasty meals though but she'll have like two bites of them like she doesn't really like eat it, eat mm-hmm. it like. that was the nicest thing you've ever said to me that, I, really, <laughs> I, I sure hope not that's hot that oh is really God. hot only two <laughs> We finally have a podcast with Sophia with an F and we're just talking about fucking ramen noodles for an hour. Like, hi. And and shitting. Do you guys use a squatty potty? No, but my roommate does and she swears by it. See, I don't need help, but if I did, I I know that it's helpful. Yeah. Well, I never have until this recent era. And I never tried feet up on the toilet, actually, until I was in Mexico. I can't even picture you. That's that's Three days ago in Mexico, I tried it for the first time. Where you literally barefoot put it on the toilet oh seat and you're like i was in only a bikini no you're, I don't, you're waiting for i something had no choice to fall in. it was coming out or i was going to die do you know what i mean it didn't come out so but i put my feet up on the toilet and my hands were on the walls and i was trying it all like bloom <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe you have a bloom nutrition deal and you're saying it's amazing and it does the job it's good for digestion like really really good Damn, I should try it. So good. Honestly, you sold me, so shit. I know. Yeah, I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow. I might need it. And just see what happens to you. I really might need it. (laughs) So shit. No fun. So what brings you to Los Angeles, this trip? So I think it's partly work, partly running away from hanging out with my ex for a whole weekend. And I'm like, I was only supposed to be here for like a couple days, and now I'm thinking... Let's extend, you know? You're more than should. welcome to stay here if you want to come on a really sad, scary journey. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, earlier, I was like, I really don't have topics for Sophia. Um, like, I just want to talk shit with her because I've like, we ha- I haven't gotten to know her yet. And like, I'm excited to get to know her. And I, I look at Brooke and I was like, at the end of the day, we can always just ask gay son or thought daughter. <laughs> what are you guys? Are you guys speaking English? What is yeah, it? So, like, would, would you rather you have, to have a gay son or a thought, son or thought, or thought, thought daughter? I'm like, what? You guys would are like... You- <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. That's the part you didn't understand of this podcast. <laughs> Would you rather okay. have a gay son or a thought daughter? Gay son. Okay. Uh, I guess everyone has a thought daughter. And it's Pride Month. It's so upsetting because that everyone I don't want to deal with a with a daughter and a baby when she's like 18. Yeah. You Good know. Damn. Also, Good gay point. son, like whatever. Yeah. So true. I think I would that. prefer a gay son over a straight one. For sure. I, I, I'm happy with whatever I, I want get. a gay son and a thought daughter that would be my dream oh what a collab it's <laughs> <just> I, I <laughs> am I know that I'm gonna be slightly like like I want to raise my kids well again ramen for a month you're not gonna be a nepo Tana's asshole. gonna be so funny she's like Can't, you're camping tonight see you, <laughs> see you tomorrow <laughs> she's up here but they're like they're in the backyard <laughs> she's like you guys can't come inside <laughs> But there is a part of me that that's excited to be like the mean girl's mom. Like, do you guys need a condom? I don't know. I don't. I I know myself because in my head I've always felt like I was going to be that silent like, spoke volume. As I grew up, I start seeing things like I'll scroll through my TikTok and I'll see like kids doing backflips on a trampoline, and I'm like, I'm never letting my kid go outside. Like, you could break your neck doing anything. See, but I'm like breaking your neck builds character. But like, how scary! Like people get like cte like my kid can't play football like i no. feel like i'm gonna be so protect- protective i know me too well my brother is 11 years younger than me oh wow, oh, wow. and i had a single mom mm-hmm. and so i felt like i kind of have been like his mom a little bit yeah and i'm fucking i am the most batshit not well person should not be a mom right now <laughs> or ever <laughs> and with him, I'm like, you can't do this. You cannot do this. I'm fucking terrified. What do you mean? Like, I like I'm, act crazy. Yeah, so I feel like I'm going to end up being like a boner parent. Because we were fucking batshit crazy, right? Yeah. I definitely, I want to be a really honest parent. I want to be like, listen, he, these things happen in the real world. I'd rather you tell me that you go through these things. Let's talk about it back and forth. Like, honest parent. I don't know. Controlling parenting scares me because I think if you control your kids so hard, they're gonna rebel i was definitely not control i had my grandparents and my grandparents they were like so over the parenting thing once i came around they were just like whatever Mm -hmm. so i was allowed to do whatever i want and because of that i felt like i didn't want to do anything that crazy that's what i'm saying yeah Yeah. i grew up with like a very strict mom and i think that's why i've been in jail three times wait like what was the worst thing you went to jail for um Resisting she's like, arrest. She's like battery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Arson. <laughs> Resisting arrest is kind of hot, though. No. 
I mean, if you if you saw it, like it wasn't hot at all. Like they like trampled me to like the fucking ground on the street. But like, I would say that was probably the crazy. Okay, but what were they arresting you for originally? Um. So funny story. I was using a fake ID, and I was like way beyond a normal amount of like being intoxicated. Like I was like stumbling around, whatever. Uh But they saw my fake ID. I tried to use it with the police, which idiot <laughs> like or the genius, police depends been there. who you're no, asking they for sure have a database they for sure know if your id is mm. fake like maybe you can get into a club um but they fucking put me in and they said that i was um in put trouble in for forgery <laughs> forgery Oh, because you're pretending to be, like, someone else. Yeah, but, like, everyone, like, it ended up on the cover of, like, some magazine in Utah, like, Busted Magazine, and people were, like, were you, like, forging checks? Like, Oh, that is crazy. Because you don't don't go to jail for forgery unless it's, like, you know, no one gives you that for a fake ID. Oh, that yeah, that is crazy because that's, like, it should just be, like, a minor in consumption. Wait, do you have a fun mugshot? I, I have multiple. Cat I have multiple. Cool. You should do And merch. they're not fun. They're actually like really like embarrassing. And like, I, it's not, it's yeah. not, I'm not like glamorizing it. My mug like, shot's so like ugly. Fun, le- no. a fun. If I could go back in time. Do you look hot in yours or no? Not at all. Promise. I'm trying you, to promise pick you, you at all. promise. Can I tell you my biggest discrepancy with my mug shot is I'm sitting there. I'm in Indio, California, Coachella jail. <laughs> and there's glitter coming down my eyes. I'm on Molly. And the, I'm under arrest. There's a bandana around my neck. Black bandana. Oh, yeah. Black bandana around my neck. And there's glitter on my eyes, whatever. And I'm looking there. I'm ready to pose. This is me. Ready? I'm looking mm-hmm. at the camera. I'm like. And they're like, you have to put your hair behind they your ears. They did that to me, too. And I, I was fucking pissed. I have a really weird thing. <laughs> I would have killed myself. People actually, actually always. Actually, my hair's behind my ears right people now. People always ask me, like, <laughs> I weirdly, one of my biggest insecurities is my ears. I don't, like, I'll show. I'll show the class. I don't think I have weird ears. <laughs> I, like, like, I think they're normal ears. They're one time, normal, one time Harry Jowsey looked at me and he was like, I love your little, your little ears. <laughs> And look, from here you look like Emma no, Roberts. I like no, legit. I don't. Nope, not at all. And I put my hair behind my ears and then I'm so mad. I'm like, this isn't gonna be a hot photo, so I don't smile on the thing I hit up. Okay. And my hair is behind my ears. I'm gonna one it's... up that because they made me get out of my clothes and put on the orange <laughs> like <laughs> jumpsuit. No, that's shit. Cam. No, that's Cam. No, and then I'm wearing the orange. I'm wearing the orange top. <laughs> You're kidding. Wait, who is that? Me. <laughs> At least the hair was forward. Oh, no, the hair, the no, the hair is forward in that one. My other one, they made me put the why hair Why is that a mugshot rule? Why do your ears but, have to but, be in your mugshot? But why did they make me put on the fucking thing and <laughs> no, then take it? One time, the like my out. tits were out. They were pulled, like, you know. One time my friend sent me a photo of my mom on the news and it said it was her mugshot and she was wearing a full straight jacket <laughs> I was like <laughs> I have the photo too I'm like Fawn how that, did that, that just, just one one up to anything that's been said <laughs> this can we no we can't we can't pull it up can we no no no, no, no never mind she okay never mind. he was gonna pull it up and it but like so funny I'll, I'll show you guys after okay we'll just we'll just edit them in we'll edit the one was she in an actual straight jacket yeah look okay. at this I've really never been in a straight jacket. That's not weird. For me, don't don't you think that in my 24 years of life, like there would have been a point? I feel oh, like I was, was in a straight jacket once. I actually completely lied. Oh, really? I feel like For that's the something fuck you up would music video. Oh, oh the I was saying, wait. I feel like that's something you would incorporate into your like sex routine. No, isn't it crazy that I shot a music video and they were like, "What concept do you want it to be?" And I was like, "I want to be in a straight jacket." <laughs> <laughs> you are so camp. <laughs> no, at all. How sad is that? <laughs> I'm putting my voodoo doll in it. And it, it's so funny. It's so crazy because every time I move, I lose like vital things I own. I don't know what it is. But this, this girl has been with me like, through everything. If I, like when I move from this house, I'm going to move to the next house, which is going to be down the street. And I'm going to be missing like a TV that it, like I bought. Every like time a flat screen. But this voodoo doll has made it 10 fucking houses. 
10? So like, at this point, probably, yeah. Can I see it? She has rare beauty blush on. She is missing certain things. Like, like, you like can tits just and like an ass. Well, that was really nice. No, I was <laughs> thinking like a hand. <laughs> but. They forget her bombshell. But it's funny because a lot of the guys I've dated have like made the same joke of like stabbing it and shit. And, like, uh, take it and like whatever. I wouldn't like, really stab it. Do you <laughs> totally stab it. <laughs> Wait, do voodoo dolls usually not have a mouth? I think well, I one, personally I think just this shouldn't girl was have just a mouthful. Hopeful, yeah. <laughs> God, if I didn't, no one's ever talked about that. If I didn't have a was mouth, was that done on purpose? I'd probably have a way better life. I couldn't say the okay, things I said. If you had to, if you had to get rid of one of your holes, which would you choose? Ooh, that's <laughs> a, such a good question. <laughs> like, sexual oh my God, holes that's a question like your, from now your, on. Your vagina, your asshole, or your mouth. You have to get rid of one, and you have to well, face the she's, consequences. She's not getting rid of her asshole. It's like her favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's already not she, functioning properly. So I feel like that one might on. be an easy hold on. answer. Hold on. Oh my god. So like, <laughs> I, I get rid of. Hold on. So I get rid of my asshole, and then like, I can't shit. Nope. So, it's, okay, so, how so does it we come would out? die. Well, it's you a have tube. To have a or a little, a little bag. I'm going no asshole then. Okay. I need a pussy. <laughs> yeah, live without that. <laughs> and a life without a mouth is like strange, right? I think probably. Which holes would you go? So you if I could go no asshole, I wouldn't die though. But yeah, you could, we just wait, have like a fun little anal, shit bag. You, you could just do anal and just not have a pussy. I hate that, the word pussy coming out of my own mouth. No, I need a pussy. <laughs> as long as it looks cute, like it's not like human centipede, like weird. Well, I was actually just weirdly going to ask if you had to be one part of the human centipede, who would you be? The first one, right? Yeah, for sure. Like you get fed. That's like a lot of pressure, though. Like you're the voice for ev for like all the people, like everyone. You know, it's a lot of no. pressure having no. to do both at once. No, I think I'd weirdly live to be the first person in the human centipede. Be what fun. a movie! Oh my God. Every movie. time you I take a shit, shit, I can talk my shit. I'm and eating. every time you shit, you're like, oh my God. Like, and I'm it probably so sorry. Kind of feels I was hungry. Yes, yeah, see, I have like, a joke complex. I might like to be the like in the back. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> And it probably feels like you're getting your ass eaten 24 <laughs> This never happened to real people, right? The human centipede never happened to real people. I'm sure no, it's there's... not based off of the real story. No, but, like, you think in all of the world there's not some human centipedes, like, in someone's basement? There is. Well, haven't you oh, seen, yeah, uh, what's it called, Two Girls, One Cup, when they, like, shit in the cup and you drink Of course. It? Have you seen... <laughs> what is it? What... One one girl, one jar, one horse, one jar. I don't know. I don't mean to add in the horse. Why is I that the only like thing it. my producer has said out loud for the last hour? He goes, yeah. Of course he has. Amish Aaron. Which one is it? One like, girl. Yeah, is it one, one girl? One, jar. one guy, one jar. And he puts a glass jar in his asshole and shatters it. Imagine your asshole having that much strength. It's kind of a talent. This used to be the box. Like we were talking about the box That's earlier. What happened at the box. Mm. No, they when it when the box first was a thing. You would know the history, of New York. Like, please, <laughs> please the tell me. The box. Th I remember there was this girl who used to either jack off a horse or like a goat, and there was a girl who would give like a blow job to like one or the other, and she, but she was in love with the horse. Or the go. <laughs> I don't know if that's. I don't know if you can get away with that. Now it's not. How they get a horse in there? Now it's not allowed. Well, the boxes are even now. Like when I go there now, there's one in London. Why have I been to them all? Um, mm -hmm. Even when I go there now, it's like the things that are happening feel very illegal. Like you watch it, yeah. and it feels super illegal. So to know it was like ten times more than that. The sexy guy from The Lion King. The what? Uh, Scar. Kovu. Scar. Kovu. Oh, I'm talking about Kovu? Lion King too. Oh. Scar's son, Kovu. Is he sexy? When I tell you I grew up and I would like get wet watching Lion King 2 for Kovu, I'm not joking. And everyone thinks it's weird. They're like, it's a fucking lion. I'm like, have you heard his voice? Have you heard what he has to say? Like, so fucking, like, the hottest shit ever. I You're love, with me. I <laughs> No, I, I, okay, listen, I'm on your team here. Brooke, you were talking about Scar. I was. I was. I'm I trying had to think if I've ever been child. in love with like an inanimate character. Brian from Family Guy and I would get along weirdly. But he's a person. It's a dog. Oh. He's a dog. <laughs> Wolf. Grr. All the people in Family Guy and you choose the dog? What about no, the baby? No, no, no. <laughs> well, Stewie's gay. Stewie's my favorite character, but... Um, <laughs> Stewie. Brian and I have definitely dated a lot of guys with the same personality as Brian from Family Guy. The dog. Like, I don't um, know. I don't the, think yeah. I'm educated Wolf. enough. Girl. <laughs> 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 oh, my. 
that is so funny you just said that i was like i relate no i really did i grew up and i like had a big crush on him but i just don't think i really i don't know if i knew quite i also had like a weird crush at one point on the like the lobster thing in powerpuff girls the lobster thing do you know what i'm talking about larry the lobster no can you look can you Wait, what's his name? We had pay, we had Paige be him for. I paid this man the big bucks. Dude, we went, we went as the Powerpuff Girls for Halloween, and we made her assistant be the lobster. <laughs> no, can you can you look it up? I don't. And I don't actually know out. the gender. I weirdly had a crush. Yeah, he got them legs on him. Like I was into it, which I think it says a lot about me now. That looks like every man I've ever dated. Yeah, he's got the hunch just like your ex. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone too. Like that's that's my type. He's like. <laughs> He's giving me like Rocky Horror Picture Show vibes. I don't know if I know what that no? means. What? You never seen that? I don't think That's so. That's a really interesting one, The Lobster. Okay. Of all the ones. I, I can't no, even I really think you. about the other ones. There's Mojo Jojo. <laughs> no, I just mean like the other cartoons. Which people call me a lot. Other cartoons in general. I could see myself with like a Squidward. I'm sorry. Did like you guys watch SpongeBob growing up? And like as a kid, you'd watch and you'd think like Squidward is so negative. And then now you watch it and you're like, I am Squidward. I have watched just it me? recently. But Why I think, have I? But <laughs> it's really crazy watching SpongeBob now because you're like, wow, this is. I like just really recently had sex to the SpongeBob movie. That's uh, hard. I in can't express. I can't express like two enough. I'm talking like watch the SpongeBob movie. Riding a dick, You're like, like who while a being, <laughs> who lives in a pineapple. Have, I swear, I swear to God, like, and we'd like stop for a second and like watch the movie for a second. Like, I, I weirdly have like movie. full blown. Wait, I'm sorry, you guys Several will times. fuck and then stop and then watch like Only, a scene in the movie and then keep fucking. I have I'm never thinking, done that. I'm ever. thinking more so like round one, round two. You know what I mean? Okay, round two. Like, you like came, you now we're going to watch 20 minutes of this Spongebob movie, then we're going to run it back again. Okay, so it's oh, not like in the I middle. That's crazy. That's a crazy clip. Like, you're not like, <laughs> you're not like writing him, and then it's like, oh my God, I love this scene. To be honest with you, though, I do do that sometimes, but that's different. Okay, with this guy, it was like a really great sex, so it was like, we're fucking, Spongebob movie's happening, we came, now we're watching again, that's, now we're fucking okay. again. But are, have you ever been fucking someone and like it's not that good and there's a movie playing and you're way more into the movie than the person I have and you're like watching the movie just going through the motions like I do that sometimes no <laughs> but <laughs> <Cool>. one time <laughs> that's the worst the worst thing that can ever happen is when you share something like so vulnerable about yourself and someone's just like no I cannot relate Can't that relate. just happened to me with the show Dave I was like watching Dave and I was so into the episode and I was sucking dick and I was like this the dick part's fun and all but like I want to know what I happens to Lil Dicky and I was like uh, uh, watching I have a literal Dave. video like a POV video of me watching like Bridgerton and like fully if you don't show While me that he was after this podcast so I, will. My best I will full like in, if you watch it back it's just like you can see the scene of Bridgerton <laughs> no but one time this guy was fucking me I was so obsessed in love with him so obsessed Super Bowl halftime show Katy Perry so that was, was like a big one all my friends were the little like, sex during the Super Bowl no, no, is crazy like, don't was... you want to watch the Super Bowl more than that or just me <laughs> the fact he wanted to fuck me during the Super Bowl speaks volumes yeah that That's is true. really indicative but he was fucking me from behind and I turned around and he was watching Katy Perry and like he was that, like baby like you're that. a firework <laughs> no, not even looking at my ass like not at looking all. at me and this is only our second time hooking up so could I be was worse. Like, they, it could have been like the black second eyed time Super Bowl. Fuck being during the Super Bowl is what what did you say could have been what <laughs> could have been the black eyed peas Super Bowl <laughs> <laughs> like okay Katie so Katy saying. Perry like that's valid. like I wouldn't I don't know Katy Perry like I'd be like okay fuck you guys I have to pee so bad Go okay but no but can we just finish can I episode? no can I just tell you a serious problem I have mm-hmm. have you ever, have you watched Euphoria yes have you seen that scene in Euphoria where Rue like she's like on drugs and she and can't she, and she can't move and she's holding her pee for like days or like hours and like she can't get up to go pee yeah I, I like do, do that vaguely. all the time I have to pee the second I feel it because it's like I just like well first of all I peed myself in my own house like way too many times 
So, what? Okay. Like, I always wear onesies. <laughs> I always wear, like, one-piece, like, outfits. <laughs> And okay. so, like, sometimes, like, I'll, I'll overestimate, like, the amount of time it's going to take, and then I'll piss myself in my own house. Okay. Um, but, like, you won't, like, you won't just be. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, I'm, like, <laughs> so you're not drunk or anything. <clears throat> Completely sober. Well, and but, you don't, but you don't just sit, like, you want to be sitting here, no, like, it's like pee I'm on in the, the way. I'm on I the mean, way. I pee, oh. like, every time I go pee, it, like, goes down my leg. Not what? every time, but like a like a tiny. <laughs> that, hel- that helped, honestly. That really helped. <laughs> but like, I take my clothes off, but then it like some yeah. I think it's how kind of, does it go down your leg? It's the wizard sleeve, like my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> so the, the, the vagina flaps. The, the vagina flaps. My cousins look at me. She knows. I think it's my vagina flops when I pee. It's like a little slide. Sometimes it. My cousin's <laughs> looking at me. She knows is such a crazy thing to add to that. I just want. I just want to revert back to that. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you know. She's like, don't. <laughs> Got power. It's crazy. I sometimes when I after I wipe a little bit will go down my leg. Okay, but I don't pee myself. <laughs> Is that <laughs> peeing yourself? She's no. like low key shame. She's like, but I don't pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, shit. That's pretty bold to say. Okay, I weirdly don't have a problem with either one of your wizard flaps X Y Z things, <laughs> um, but I will hold my pee for like hours and like I have to pee so bad mm-hmm. and I won't get up. I'll lay in pain. Like in bed, like for two hours. Like right now, I've had to pee since we sat down. Would yeah. you just you take the break? Infection. Yes. Oh, and I never do. You, you've never had a UTI? I've had a UTI probably. Oh, I've had more you. UTIs than I have like. Maybe that's why. Boyfriends. <laughs> Way more than boyfriends. I hold my pee astronomically <laughs> and I can't. I, people say it's a depression thing. So, uh, but mm. like sincerely, I like. Well, you could go. But I, I'd rather end the podcast and keep sitting here in excruciating <laughs> well, pain. We can end this episode and then do Sophia's episode. Yeah, <laughs> Isn't it crazy I think that we we're co- able I th- to do that? I think we covered all the important things. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, we really, really hit it all. <laughs> Wizard sleeves, what pooping. Did, what did we talk horse? about other than Mike Maylock, call her daddy, <laughs> shitting yourself and pissing yourself? Like nothing. <laughs> her being attracted to a animal. Right. <laughs> right. And the matching pussies with the cousin. Yeah. <laughs> so be honestly, I will just say I feel like it's been a sincerely long time overdue that I've met you. And 100%. I can just tell we would catch a vibe forever and I'm happy that you came on. Thank you and so much. So feel with an F is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking you shivering, shaking. Cooper I want to throw up. Should I tweet Alex Cooper shaking right now? We just <laughs> yes. even the playing ground. Yes, do it. God, someone take my Twitter away. I might have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me, guys. Love you. It's so funny that we end every podcast with the guest being like, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> As if it was like something like monumental. Like we just made this girl talk about shitting herself for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting thank clipped. you thank so you for, much for having me yeah, on. Like, I feel like I I got a lot across, and I hope it changes lives. You know like, what I mean? Like, thank you for coming on. <laughs> we love you. Thank we you. Love you. Thank you. We're gonna shoot another episode right now for Sophia with Ned. Yes. Woo.